gentlemen, welcome to First Touch. It's good to be back. As, of course, I'm your host, Dazzler, and joining with me today is Roll Diz and T Bates. And of course, we got a lot of Rock League to get into, but first things first, gentlemen, how we doing? How we doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How we doing? How we doing? It's a wonderful day. The sun's nice. shining. Yeah. You know, it, it, I got to see T Bates working on his pearly whites earlier this mm, morning. That's a view. Uh, Look at him. It's inspirational. Look inspirational. Look, Look at him. him. Now he geeking. Now he geeking. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I mean, I'm I'm uh today. Today today is gonna be an interesting, fantastic little little day we got going on here. I wanted to say a uh, happy Memorial Day. Yeah. Uh, everybody that serves yes, that. Yes, Wanna uh, yes. take time to today we are remembering all of those who have given the ultimate sacrifice for our country. So just want to say happy Memorial Day and uh, mm -hmm. uh and this episode twelve or fourteen? think so yeah episode 12 uh, out of 14 and i believe you have some special guests on today we do we do have some special guests lined up today so of course if we hope you guys are enjoying your memorial day thank you all for tuning in to first touch let's get right into it first things first we have a special guest joining us uh, heavy is going to join the show heavy is an edm duo who debuted with monster cat with their collaboration with protostar on isolation we welcome them to first touch to talk about their first ever track that's going to, that is in Rocket League, Collapse. So, hey V, welcome. This is your first track in Rocket League, but your history in the game goes way, way back before then. Let's start from the beginning. How did you two meet? Yo, yo, what's up? Great to be on the show. So, back in 2018, around that time, I was playing some 2v2s with a friend of mine, and out of nowhere, he was just like, okay, I want to trade this one item, because he was like a lot into item trading back in the day. Mm. So, he just added this one guy from the trading website and it happened to be Omer and after that like uh, trading the item Omer asked if he can stay in the lobby with us and play like few 3v3 with us because like he just wanted to game with us so we were like yeah sure why not we played for a few hours we were just like crushing it in the comp and so on and for a while after that we played like uh, some phase it tournaments back in the day and after playing the tournaments for a while I had a break from Rocket League for a few months but after that when I came back to it I saw Omer was still playing it, so I asked him if he would want to play some 2v2s with us. Or 2v2 with me, and then 3s with us. So yeah, Omer, you can continue the rest of the story. Yeah, we just played a lot of 2v2 together, and our helped me to improve my mechanical skills, my common sense skills in Rocket League. Uh, after we played some face-it tournaments, we really got like a good synergy in the game, and we really got teammates together. Mm. But yeah, that, that's basically like the very original story how we met, like, we just kept playing bunch together. And yeah, we were just playing twos and threes and just chilling. Cool. But yeah. Think? Bro? Um, when did you decide to go from playing the game together to making music together? Mm, well, we were we were playing like for quite a while at first. I would say that we were playing for good like... 300, 200, 300 hours together and before we started like, you know, getting to know each other and talk to each other more and so on. And then I just like, at some point I asked him like, what is his hobbies? What does he want to do in life? And he just was, you know, saying that, yeah, I want to just graduate, blah, blah, blah. And uh, he said that he is really into music. So I actually told him that after he told me that he's a big fan of music and he had some musical background, I told him, uh, I told him that uh, I actually produce music myself and I've been doing that for like maybe six years at that point, five years, six years. So yeah, so like not not long after that, I I just showed him some of my music and he was like, yeah, this is really cool. And Omer actually asked me if like uh, if I could like introduce him to music production, and then we just basically from there we just started producing together and. Yeah, like, yeah, we just started producing together and having, having fun. And we, just, we, just, we just became really good friends and yeah, we, we didn't do it like super seriously or anything in the beginning, but yeah, we just made music together and had fun and so on. Yeah, Omer, you can continue from here. Yeah, it was the best decision I've ever made, making music. I loved it from the first time I did it. It was really fun making new friends and just being creative, being in my own space and zone, you know, working on stuff. Oh, that's that's wild. And um, Arrow, I wanted to ask a question. You said you have been working on music for six years up to that point before you and Omer started working. 
yeah, worked I, together. What was that, like 2018 or 2019? When did y'all meet exactly? Uh, it might have went over my head. We, uh, we, we started like working together on music maybe like really late 2018 or early 2019. Gotcha. Okay. So we had played like good half a year together already before that. But I started making music around 2012, I would say. Gotcha. I had another project before that, but then I kind of quit it because I wasn't anymore like <clears throat> really feeling the music I was making back in the day. And I just wanted to try something new. And I was just like maybe half a year. I didn't, I barely produced anything. So then mm -hmm. after after Omer was like uh, asking me if I could introduce him to production, I was like, yeah, sure, like, why not? And it kind of like sparked up my, you know, like inspiration and motivation towards music again, because now I had a good reason again to good reason again to produce because Omer was like a really fast learner. Mm -hmm. It took barely like two to three months and we were already making like really solid stuff together. For example, this track that came to Rocket League, we actually started it maybe four or five months after <clears throat> Omer had started producing. What? So wow. th this song that like now came out in the game, it has it's it's an old song, but it has definitely changed over the time. But we actually mm -hmm. started it back in 2019, April, wow. I would say. Oh May. That's actually crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And in less than a year after Omer started producing, we already had a <clears throat> song on Monster Cat and NCS. So like, yeah, it's crazy. I would have never been able to reach that level myself. <laughs> by, self, <laughs> by self teaching myself like back in 2012, like no way of reaching that. Okay. So, yeah, it's cool. Wow. So, you know, we talked about, you know, this track here, you mentioned it briefly collapse. Uh, for for you guys in terms of how this track fits into rocket league uh, what how does it fit for you mm, <clears throat> i i think it's a good fit it definitely fits really well i think because it has like uh the intro is like really nice and melodic the vocals are good i like them a lot and then the drops are like really heavy and impactful and full of energy so i think it fits the game really well because it's like sometimes it's like super calm and then it's sometimes like really hectic and you know aggressive so I, I really like that track that it ended up on Rocket League. It's amazing. I I, I I like I really compliment my own work, but this time I feel like we all nailed whatever we did on the project and it just turned out amazing. And I think the weirdest part about it is that I played Rocket League for like well over two thousand hours by now and about every time I have just like heard someone else's music, you know, when opening the game. But now that I can hear a song that I've been part of myself, it's just like it just feels really unreal. It's crazy. Wait, you said you had 2,000 hours in Rocket League? Yeah, I think I have like well oh, over okay. 2,000. Like 2,300, 400 probably. What a grinder. Yeah, I've been playing around since like 2016, I think. Ooh. I roll. I ro mm. um, ultimately though, uh, for you two, what does this release really mean to you? Mm, Omer, you can you can tell what it means to you. Just yeah, it's one of the biggest dreams I've ever had, opening Rocket League, having the game playing. I never thought when I started playing the game that my own song would be there. It's just insane to think about it. Also, Rocket League would have never started our project. It's just so crazy to think about it. Yeah, like, it feels really unreal that we originally met in Rocket League. We never had as plans that we are going to start making music together and start a career together. And then That's we became so cool. good friends. And then in less than two years, we were actually like in the very beginning when we started producing, we were like really grinding two v twos back in the day. And we just saw like uh, some Monster Cat song on the main menu. And we were just wondering that, imagine if we one day could like get our own song into the game. And then we're like, huh, it's probably never gonna happen, but that would be super cool. But then in, <laughs> le in less than two years, it happened. So that's amazing. Oh, goodness. That's so awesome. That, that, that actually is really cool. Um, gentlemen, is, do we have anything else we want to hit on before we let these guys go? I got a lot to hit on. Okay, hit on. First off, I just want to let everybody know in the chat that see, this is why you're nice to your solo your teammates because you now you never know. Yeah, you might have a passion that somebody else might want to join you on, and then all of a sudden you have a song in the game that you love playing, uh, just like they have it, which I find to be so so cool. Um, also believe the more you did some uh, music producing at some point in your life. Maybe? Yeah, yeah, I've. Uh... 
I, I don't talk about it too much, but I definitely used to uh, DJ while also like uh, record and um, also produce on my own time. So it like hearing the, their like story and how like they came together, and then also the amount of time that was spent on this song is like mm -hmm. so it's it's really incredible. Just because I know some people who like try to push things out like really fast, or will try to do things and maybe take like weeks at a time to do something, but never. Uh, have I heard of something that takes over the course of like pretty much two years almost in terms of like the amount of work that was put into this song? So when I heard that, I was just like, that's, Yeah, that's that's that's, that's incredible. Wild. That's wild. Yeah, yeah it's <clears throat> sometimes the songs of ours take really long to get to the final state. For example, this one, I think the very last change to it was still back in January this year. So basically, it's like good one and a half years at least that we like got to work yeah. on the song and change things in it, and it's it's crazy, it's crazy. It, it changed the <laughs> most since like it changed the most between last year's August maybe and then mm -hmm. January, because like um, we got the vocals for it and then we changed up a few things in it and so on. But that song has definitely went through many different versions. But now I'm like I'm really happy with the way the song sounds like and i'm hope i hope omer is happy with it as well it sounds yeah. Happy, but just not happy yeah i'm very happy about it yeah oh, that's 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 wild that's just i find it be so cool that's so cool yeah. it's, it's kind of like like see us three on the broadcast right now first touch we all met through rocket league and uh now we're on here talking and then uh Y'all met the Rock League, now you have those music in the game. So it's just so cool how Rock League can like uh, connect yeah. people and really further our desires, our dreams, our hopes, and our passion, stuff like that. And um, it's really like a whole entire little hub. And I just find it so cool. So yeah, I'm just so happy for both of you. And like we have actually found a lot of other mo music producers like playing Rocket League as well. So we have got to meet a lot of like bigger artists in rocket league and everything and we have actually become really good friends with them and now we talk like at least few times every week and so on so it's really cool that like so many rocket league players share the same passion yes that's awesome that's yeah. awesome me <laughs> more maybe you should go work with now hop, hop on a track coach <laughs> <laughs> Look. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Hop on the track. Know. Hop in the booth again tomorrow. It's been a while. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. Take the bath. Thank you. Oh, Thank man. you guys so much for being able to come on and, and tell your story. Uh, it's honestly so incredible for us to uh, be able to not only hear how you guys came together, but also being able to not only play this track on stream, but also it's in the game. It's in the game right yeah. now. So if you guys, I mean, I, but before I even like do any closeouts or anything like that, I just want to like leave you guys the floor. If there's anything you want to say, um, the floor is yours. Yeah, I mean, thanks Monster Cat and thanks Rocket League for the huge opportunity. Like we like we would have never became a like a music project like without Rocket League. So mm -hmm. thank thanks a lot to Rocket League. Thanks to Monster Cat for releasing our music under them and getting it into the game, getting it into Rocket League. And also, like, if you're interested in our project and want to keep up with future music and what we do, feel free to follow us on all socials. Our handle is Have Music. And also, if you want to post to, like, your Instagram story with our new song in the game or something like that, feel free to tag us and we will respond and repost all of them in our story. And then that. Um, okay. Labyrinth, right, you got, like, the actual spelling for all that on the Twitters and all that? Yeah, Twitters? so I'm actually... Um pretty much on all socials it's heavy music so all yep. one word h-a-y-v-e-m-u-s-i-c heavy music on instagram twitter soundcloud facebook they even have their own website heavy.net and they even have their own discord server so there's a lot and if you guys have a tough time keeping up with it i'm actually tweeting it out right now yeah tweet it out and i'll retweet you oh yep and then uh we can we can just like get that going and let these these two young Young guns out their music. I appreciate, I appreciate y'all. Y'all are a treat to have on. Um, everybody thanks, play class at. thanks, thanks a lot for the opportunity. It was fun to chat here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you all for coming on the show. Oh, we appreciate it. The song is great, and we will see more of it. And again, guys, please be sure to follow Heavy Music on Twitter, Instagram, wherever you guys play on socials. Gents, thank you so much today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.
All right. That, that was so cool. That was actually such a super cool story. I was really, you know, it, it definitely, especially with how long it took to, for them to make the song, I was really impressed by that. Yeah, because... that, that, that bit, from 20, late 2018, early 2019 till 2021. <laughs> and he said, the mate, that's commitment. That's, that's a lot of passion and work put into that project. And I don't even think a lot of people understand that. Right. Like how much I goes in that. And that's why I was letting people know that you used to make, produce music sometimes, the bad room, because you would know oh, yeah. better than most people how much that is. I saw your face mm -hmm. when um when he said that, when Arrow said that. So I, I don't know, I find it cool. And it really just shows how Rocket League, the game, is more than just a game. You can meet people and really just make yeah. careers and further, further your dreams and passions. There's plenty of other people uh, out in the world that might like something that you do or might do the same thing as you they just need a partner or something like that and i mean like i said this this show is uh, indicative of that and there and Havy is indicative of that so yeah like two that's years amazing. to work on a song man i've seen some of these little soundcloud artists be they try to make a song the same day i could just do it in one take and now that's work <laughs> that's work right there and you gotta appreciate when someone puts in that much amount of time and effort into a song so they definitely got a fan of me out of that that was cool um but we can talk music a little bit later. Right now, we do have some other Rocket League stuff to get going. Uh, one of the things that is going to be very interesting that's happening next weekend is the Level Next Championships. Well, technically, it's this weekend. This weekend, Level Next Championships will be happening. I've been working on that production with Puckett, Stax, and Karma. And honestly, it's been a lot of fun. It has been a lot of fun. Um, they use Esports Engine for production. And Esports Engine is... Whew, Man, they do a great job. They do a great job. They've had some some cool segments. They give Karma these like uh, little spotlights where she can break down plays, and then they have graphics that come up that's super cool. And they are really easy to work with, uh, especially the fact that my camera goes out maybe like five times a show, and seemingly I don't think anybody <sighs> knows. Thankfully, hopefully it doesn't do it here. I don't think it does it here. But every time I would go on that show, my camera always dies, and it's just like your camera has died on the show before. Yeah, but I've, I've gotten this under control. Like, I figured this out for the most part. Please don't die today. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's really cool to work with. The the tournament format was also really interesting as well. And I guess, and that's going to lead us into our, our next topic here with the format because it's it's interesting. It is, it is interesting, especially the way that we watched it. Because uh, we did it the way, we did it like a red zone style, like kind of like... Um, grid overtime where you have a bunch of games going on and we were just swapping back and forth and back and forth but in terms of like the overall schedule the regionals were like it was 18 single elim conference single elim bracket per conference so it was like, 18 conferences something like that right so there was like 16 total teams that were moving up uh from that then after that like the bottom three or no Runners up, so two second and third got entered into a last chance qualifier, last which chance is like qualifier. a thirty-two team single Elon bracket that was all played at like best of sevens, and then the the champs eight teams came from that, right? Eight teams come from that. Then champs is twenty-four team double Elon best of seven bracket, um, and that's going to be played out in between. I want to say Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Sunday this week. So that's right. What do you think, Bates? What do you think of the format? I thought the format was really cool. Uh... I always like stuff that's fresh in a way. Um, CRL is really fantastic in almost every single way and, and continues to grow. That's Collegiate Rock League, by the way, guys. You don't know what CRL is. Um, but this allows these teams, especially when they have the Big Ten, the SEC, the Pac-12, Big 12, those type of conferences, the Power Five, missing one, ACC. Uh, they have the Power Five conferences. Those conferences uh, don't necessarily have teams or schools to have scholarship backing at the moment and with that given that those schools don't really have the best chance of competing in CRO because it's not I mean it's you gotta get really lucky <laughs> to have to end up with like LSU for example and end up with literally we've had like 25 SSLs at the school like throughout our throughout CRO history which is insane <laughs> um, that, that doesn't happen it's not it's not common at all and so you gotta get lucky for that and this format given that it gives the 
those power five conferences a little bit of shine definitely gonna help with some of their programs in the future uh this is this is a good marketing tool that these students can use in terms when they come to athletics uh and say here we want to make esports program we have these numbers we have this type of support for this and like it just will help the school overall in general towards the future and um, that definitely will benefit zero i think so me personally i, I really like it as i really liked it and it also catered to the not power five schools by having the 18 or 13 or additional easy conferences so it'd be crazy to see um what you were talking about if some of these big schools actually start to get into collegiate rocket league and see some of the rosters that they actually end up having at some of these big name schools um but it's it's definitely would you watch it what happened? <laughs> what I watched? Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Hey. Watch I'm just, oh, I'm so just curious. Boring. I'm just curious. So if the big, if the big schools are in there, would that make Raul, Raul Diaz, Raul Diaz, would you come in and actually tune in to the stream? Hey, I watched, I watched, <laughs> hey, hey, listen, listen. I watched the game this weekend. I think it was Northwestern versus Colorado. Am I right? Northwestern versus so. Colorado. I'm almost positive. I'm was almost positive. Northwestern or North? Eastern, it was Northeastern versus Colorado. Northeastern versus Colorado. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Northeastern slapped them, bro. It wasn't even a game, yeah, bro. Like, yeah. it was just like. <laughs> okay, but see, that's the, that's the thing, though. Colorado. Colorado was part of one of those Power Fives. But what, is Colorado in the Big 12? Or are they in the Big 10? Ooh. Mm. I, 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 don't have, I, don't have my, I don't have my conferences exactly down. They're in the Big 12, Big 10, I believe. Um, oh, and, and. That's one of those schools that would never even get the opportunity to play Northeastern because Northeastern has been a staple in CRL. Uh, they've gotten also a little bit fortunate, though. They're in the Power Five. They've gotten fortunate in having good players come to their school. They're more of a tech school, though. So they have that greater chance of having uh, gamers, quote unquote, <laughs> show, up at their, show up at their school. So, of course, they would get slapped, though, at the end of the day. I'm, I believe are you still looking for Colorado. Here, look, I'll see if I was right. They're, Colorado, they're Pac 12. Pac 12. Pac 12. Oh, I'm so off. Sorry, guys. Yeah. I'm paying attention to Pac-12. SEC's only, uh, SEC's only conference I didn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I gave Raul so much heat that his camera died. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think I was just embarrassed a little bit by uh, the slapping Colorado took that. The, the one time I do watch uh, <laughs> Legion Rock and League, it's just the, it's domination on one side of the field. That's what I happens. Just, I, that's, I why just, this format, that's why this format's going to help. Exactly. I just need two top-tier teams always playing against each other with with, with notable players, and hey, you, you got my eyeballs. That's mm. what mm. I need. So, Babber, what you thought about the format? <laughs> you, you've been on broadcast almost every single day for however long you're on there, so, I mean, you got plenty of experience with it. Uh, For me, the format is interesting because, like, it's. I feel like... I feel like it's a lot of work personally like if i'm thinking like on the behind the scenes of it like you have all these different conferences and some of them are like made up conferences they're like they're like octane dominus breakout, octane dominus, breakout right? like made up conferences <laughs> and i feel like to keep track of all that i mean they do a good job of doing it where they do i want to say like two conferences a day and they make it manageable and like they do multiple games a day so that broadcast is fine but i think for a viewer it's definitely like, oh man, you know, it's a lot. It's kind of like actual RLCS overtime where it's a lot to keep track of. Where you're like, okay, well, this team is my team is here and they're in this bracket. But once if you're like a fan of a specific team, it's easy to follow. You just my team's in this bracket. I hope they win this bracket. What? I'm this mind blowing. The Colorado's in the Pac-12. I would have never guessed that, but oh. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, like a Pac-12 team. Okay. I, I like last chance qualifiers. I think that's really cool, right? Because you have it's not. It's like yes, you, the regionals are a single elim bracket, but just because you lose in that bracket doesn't mean you're out, especially if you make it to semis. Because I think you just play a third place match and then boom, boom, boom. I might have to close my window. Uh, and then what? you play the lcq best of seven series so you get you do get your reps in you do get some games in but it's uh it's interesting it's interesting i i i, I don't know honestly i don't know it's a lot i think it's just a lot to take in and then i just go like day by day when i figure it all out but uh I, i'm not i don't think it's bad i don't think it's bad do i think it helps the collegiate scene to kind of like answer like the the topic question 
Yes, only because it presents a new way to go about things. I like new stuff because now you have more options. You know what I mean? Like, no one ever would have thought of doing this tournament. You, you see what I'm saying? I don't know if you see what I'm saying. Only I'm because it first. presents a new way to go about things. Well, it's just like, no, oh my God. It's, it's, it's something that's introducing a, an option. Like, no one ever thought of doing, like, three different brackets into a tournament. Like, a regional last chance qual, a double E-Lim, best of seven grand finals. In terms of a tournament with this big of a prize pool, because it's like, what, $125,000? The school gets some of the money as well, so that's going to even help them in terms of building their esports uh, scene too, if their school does great into it, and then the players get money on top of that. So for a tournament this big, to go for a ambitious format like this, I think it's pretty cool. I love it. Yeah. I'm just, I, I just so many new teams that... I'm like I said, I just would not make it in actual zero, <laughs> not yet at least. But this will this will help them out in the future. Cause you got teams like I mean Minnesota almost made it, James Madison they've made zero I think at some point. You have you got Delaware, really Michigan Tech, even Penn State. Some of these teams that are at the bottom half, or they like just barely making it out, or just barely missing out. They're all there, and it's just at the end of the day, it really ended up being zero teams. <laughs> for the most part, but throughout the bracket, you got a lot of shine, like the Colorado game that um, Roll watched, which is I'm so proud of. I'm actually watching a collegiate game. I know facts. I actually didn't expect him to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Hey, slowly, slowly but surely. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have one more thing to hit on though, because the championships is going to be this weekend. And it's about predictions. Predictions for the weekend. Uh, if you guys want, I could send you the bracket. Actually, the bracket isn't filled out yet. The bracket isn't filled yet. Um, but I know all the... We actually graphics. have the graphic. Yeah, we have the graphic of all the teams. No, that we qualify. don't have the graphic. We don't? No, guy just not found this two seconds ago. Oh, great. Guy just okay. not found this. <laughs> we have it. They're not going to be able right, to see right. it. All right, they're not going to be able to see it. Okay. But you guys kind of see it. Uh, people already know some of the top teams anyways by just name alone, right? So Northwood, Akron, Oregon, LSU, North Texas, uh, and even like Missouri because they did have that one little stint run. Did it, yeah. Did it now? yeah. Okay. All right, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but in terms of national championships, uh, who, who do you think? Who do you think is going to actually take this? Is Tristan playing? Yes. I gotta go Akron. He's going to Akron, huh? <laughs> gotta go Akron. Ah, that's nice. That's cool. When it comes to the Tigers, and Tristan sees Ajax on the opposite side of the field, Tristan actually turns into that CRL Justin that everyone talks about. Oh God, what is he looking for? He's looking for something. <laughs> uh, yeah, what is he looking for? <laughs> Maybe he's looking for, for a some way sort out. of <laughs> a way out. <laughs> Base, get me out. Hold on, give me a second. Okay. One second. Oh, oh, okay, God. while he's doing that. I'm a, eh. honestly, I do, I do like the Akron pick. I do like the Akron pick. There were some actually really good teams. Um, Michigan Tech played against Northwood to qualify for, uh, for regionals. And they took them all the way to, oh God, not the Maui. <laughs> Don't Maui. bring out the Maui, man. You see, you see this jersey right here? This is purple and gold. This is purple and gold all day, baby. Oh, wait, hold on. It's over my mic. And let me tell you something about the purple and gold. Tristan, he might have popped off that one series. He looked like Justin reincarnated. Zero Justin. All that hoopla nonsense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro's actually just Bro's just a bandwagoner. See me, I'm always consistent. I say I pick one team and on one team only. And that's the goal. That's the Tigers. Purple and gold all the way. Listen, Bron B, he's been grinding. Bron B added arrow left to his game. Do you understand the magnitude of that guy? Oh, Bron B did an arrow. Oh, he oh arrow. God. He's arrow left. He's already no busting up the reset. He's going to be busting up the reset. He's going to be busting out the one, two, skip to my lose over the top. He was already dominating the scene anyways, but now he's been grinding. Hey, Jax, he knows he got to play better this time. Tristan, he can't let him slap him 5-1 or whatever the heck the series was. And, and it looks like you already know what Logan's going to provide. So, I mean, I got my Tigers to win the national championship. Or is that, that a valid point? Yeah, that's a valid point. You, you hyping up Brian B for learning a new arrow? <laughs> no, he didn't, ha he didn't have arrow. He didn't have arrow binded? I mean, like he had regular all? air roll. He didn't have directional, though. But he didn't use the regular air roll. But now he uses air roll left. You guys know how important air roll left is in Rocket League gameplay. 
Oh, goodness gracious. Y'all can sip y'all's water all y'all's want. And look, it's not a necessity to have it, but it definitely helps the gameplay. And there's no denying that. And you guys both know it. If, if the bad brain can air roll left perfectly, he'd be SSO every single time, but he can't do it. So, look, listen. Look, he's making that face. If Raul could do that perfectly every single time, like Tikro, Raul would be a top 16 and 8. But see, he can't do it. So, air, adding air roll left into the game, as much as you do sip their water and say, oh, gosh, is that actually a point? It's important. I guess arrow left is like arrow, arrow left or arrow right. You got it's not it's not essential. It helps. A directional arrow helps. There's no disputing it. It's just nothing but the facts. <laughs> I guess I guess Turbo won four world championships for <laughs> arrow left. <laughs> Look at this. Time out. 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 No that is that is that is so that is so that is so misleading. That is so misleading. When Turbo won. <laughs> When Turbo won, actually, uh, 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 let me, let me educate you. In season, in season nine, sure, stop. In season eight, whatever season that was, season eight, world championship, he had Justin, who had at mastered arrow left. We all know how great Justin is, arguably the best player in the world. And Gary G also uses, I think, arrow left as well, arrow right. So even if Turbo doesn't use it, use it, I said it helps. And then you can make the argument that Turbo might have been the best at land, but on the team, or, or at least top two up there with Justin. But in terms of overall season, it was usually just Justin or Garrett. What about the other three world championships? I mean, I don't think Errol left was in the game, but he had Devo back then. And I, Devo was a master with Errol. I mean, you could be a master with Errol and not have him, but you have, having the direction of Errol's definitely does help one's game. It's no disputing it, none. Not a zilch. You don't have to have it. It's not essential. But I, I'm not saying it's essential, but it definitely helps. And Braun <laughs> P adding it to his game, he's adding it to his package, and that's going to help the LSU Tigers compete in that. We're going to see. We're going to see what the Tigers do, bro. We're going to see what the Tigers do. Uh, um... I'm not bandwagon like a role. He goes UNT, Akron. Who's next? Norfolk. Bro, you gave me UNT. <laughs> you said pick UNT. <laughs> I'll go LSU. And then and then UNT gets slapped up by LSU. And I'm like, oh, no wonder. No wonder. He's setting himself up for success. It's it's okay. Not so now that. let me go Akron. Okay, cool. Breathe heavy into the mic. Okay. It won't help you. It won't help you this weekend. The Babra, who you got? Uh for me, hmm. It's actually kind of tough. I like uh, because I got Who's an underdog one seed team. in this. Huh? Uh, maybe Northwood. How dare you? How did the one seed? What'd they do? It's either Akron or Norfolk. Um, they but... should get the Tigers number one seed just because. Let Akron and Norfolk duke it out in the city. They got slapped up last time they played, bro. How you gonna give them the number one seed when they got what? What was it? Four one, I believe. That's five. Stop one. talking. Five <laughs> one. Even worse. Nine. It was a best of nine. <laughs> a best of nine. Come on, bro. John, uh, Bob, uh, Brown B. What's your name? Johnny B. Brown B. Like, <laughs> add in uh, directional uh, arrow. Teammates. Teammates. Johnny B. <laughs> <laughs> Not Johnny B. Johnny you don't know his B. name. Johnny Bravo. Yo, directional arrow. Gonna help. Uh, hold on. What, what's, what's the next series gonna be? 5 2? They gonna take another game? How important uh, is it, T-Bay? Look, look. Yeah. Oh, like I said, Tristan will hit that form again. If Tristan plays in that form, he would have won all CS. Did you understand? You saw the shots you were I had, I had oh the clips God, in there. He's going <laughs> off. He said he's peeking. He's peeking. <laughs> no, bro, you saw the shot I had, we had on the stream. That man hit the ball off the wall, pre-flipped, caught it, reset, and inflicted literally 70 miles per hour top left. Nobody saved me now. There isn't a single person in the world who can stop that. I'm sorry. A that, single that, that, person in the nobody, world? He, he went See, up, okay, I don't know if he's disrespecting <laughs> Piston or he's disrespecting the rest of the league. Oh my goodness. You need, you need to run the clip again? I don't have the clip on me, but I mean, <laughs> obviously you didn't di uh, digest and decipher the clip enough. Well, we're moving on. I got LSU. But Mar hasn't picked and he got Akron bandwagon right there. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll be the odd man out and just go north with it. I'll see what they can do. I'm not really yep. confident on my pick, but it's, it is what it is. <laughs> you might as well not get picked then because the moment north for loses, oh I'm holding you accountable. Goodness. Might as well go okay. Akron. <laughs> Talk about might as well go hacker. Honestly, yeah, I will go hacker. I'll go hacker with Raul. Double up. All right, double up on me. When the Tigers win, I'll be rocking a purple and gold next next Monday. Let's roll. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. What are you going to rock if Hacker win? That's a good question. Nothing. <laughs> I'm going to rock a LeBron jersey for Tristan. <laughs> there you go. All right. I want to see it. Okay, moving I gotta on. I got to get a LeBron jersey. <laughs> IWO Intel World Open signups in June 1st. Well, tomorrow. Oh, I got to sign us up. I forgot to sign us up. Uh, no. Don't say us. Not me. I'm not on there. You're going to mislead the team. That's why that they team. don't got us on the notable teams yet. <laughs> that's the 
announced, but I announced it on Twitter. Like all the other people didn't sign up either. Oh. Yeah, but e- either way, we got to talk about this notable rosters list because it's a it's a bunch of malarkey going on in the notable rosters list. Whoever made this roster list or read it, I'm gonna need you to make some small adjustments, okay? Because uh, who, who do y'all have on this on this notable rosters list? I got to open up the Reddit thread. They have a lot of good people. Mm. They have a lot of good people, but they're missing great people. Okay, they're missing like, great uh, people. Like you, especially in the United States category. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Do I need to say it again? Absolutely. What I got? We got Cronovi, Astro, Aeon, Drees, Musty, Flitz, Rizzo, Sis, Fireburner, and not Damar, Dabar, Dababar, Williams, Austin, Austin <laughs> Franklin is in my net. Raul, Diaz, Raul Diz. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have that roster on the notable teams list? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Speak to him. Austin 2 is one of the best teams in the league. Come on now, come on now. Do do we have to do some some stream scrims where I, where I just have to double tap on Musty and I head to head? Like, is that what I need to do for for some respect to be put on my name? Let me know, cause I'll do it. I'm not worried about it. Okay. Do I gotta show Cronovi that season six was I don't know how long ago? Oh my Maybe goodness. Maybe I gotta right to my arsenal. Because guess what, Crow? I went against Astro and Aeon when it had Bob. It wasn't pretty. You think? <laughs> You think you're about to make a, a difference here on this roster? I said it. They got Toasty, LJ, and Crassics. I came in Toasty's stream and told him, Toasty, you don't want to see me in the bracket. Toasty, I'm saying it again. You don't want to see me in the bracket. You're lucky I haven't signed up yet. I got to sign up. I'm going to do that while we're on the My stream. goodness. But I had, to, I had to get that point across as we get ready to talk about the rest Are you done? of the I am done. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah, see, I'm folks, done. This, this is why it's dangerous to have... See, see, it's not dangerous, but it's a little comical to have people like Dazzer and Roll is on here. You, you, you'll, you'll be misled. You swear, the older they get, the better they are. The better they are, and the less they play Rocket League, the better they are. They'll let you know that they're a top two team in this bracket. They're not a top. Mm, look at you. <laughs> what the heck just happened to me? Yeah, yeah, look at you. Wait, wait, wait what just happened to me? He thinks he's so delusional. His tail is messed it up. Wait, what the heck just happened to me? He got a frozen face. <laughs> Keep it right there. Keep it right there. We don't want to see any more faces from TV. Wait, I'm still here, though. What is this? What are you talking about? Oh, my goodness. No, matter of fact, keep this on. This is the face I made the whole entire time. You just keep chatting. You have my your team. This is the face I'm going to give you the whole entire time. That's a whole bunch of... Go ahead. Keep talking about IWO. I'm going to sit right here with this face on my... With this face the whole entire time. Oh okay, this man right here. Look at, look at him. I, we need a meme of that. I need some screenshots. Give me the screens. <laughs> it's meme day. I think tomorrow. Show me the memes. But there are actually some good notable teams. Um, on on in every single region, right? You have uh, I think United Kingdom, Breezy, Exo Flame. That's a solid one. Ooh, excuse me. I saw Cash, Chippy, and Billy. I think. Yep. I don't know. If, I think I saw them scrim. SRG the other day. Uh, somebody posted a clip. I know Cash was in the clip. And somebody was just getting constantly demoed. It was hilarious. Uh, <laughs> apparently, Jack Hibbs, Rezzy, Noli Devo, Archie, uh, Bluey Speed Relating Wave. I'm not really too hot on that team. That, that just doesn't... I don't know how that recipe works, but... I mean, they're playing together, so that is what it is. Uh, in terms of Europe West, if you guys haven't seen... I'm not going to say all the teams... But it looks like the the best team. Ooh, mm. Ew, ooh. you better you better mention it. It's the a couple. There's a couple of names out here. So we got the Queso Boys. We got Mark Baye, Itachi, and Steak. Mm. CRR, Zamoy, and Dorito. Sheesh. Hey, Spain looking dangerous. Spain got three rosters. <laughs> it just I don't like one of them comes out. And that's crazy. Which one do you think is going to come out between those three? That's a tough one. I mean, I hope Queso. Right? If Queso don't come out, I'm, I'm going to be disappointed. That's a roster. As, is- much as, as much as Mark, Atachi, Steak, or just in CRR, Zamu, and Dorito, like, those are just six solid players. Mark Baye is... Like, you can't, you can't speak enough about Mark Baye, honestly. I just feel like he's just way overshadowed by Monkey Moon, but he, and he shouldn't really be. 
Um, there you go, Marbella Love, Marbella to yeah. go. But but I mean, Team Queso, they should they should come out of that <laughs> that uh, group or whatever qualifications. Yeah, they should. But I don't think they are. I'll be Spain, Mark Bay, or be the other Spain team, Mark Bay, Itachi, and Steak. You think so? And uh, you gotta you gotta get that Netherlands team a little bit of respect. Jorus, Ocelon, and Matane. They won't be too terrible. Mm-mm. And I, I mean, you got the other Netherlands team also, like Mike Boy, Uli, and Tho. Yeah. Which I find them interesting. Why? Interesting. But, um, yeah. I mean, it's just really just those four teams. You got Astro with uh, Eversex and Compact. But I mean, nobody expecting too many great things out of them. Right. <laughs> and then you, you look at France, too. And, of course, you got Vitality. K-Dop, Fairy Peak, Alpha. Then you got Monkey Moon, Casio, and Exotic playing together. Just interesting, interesting. Which I find to be so interesting. Yeah, right. Like, this, this is out of kid must be nice. And you see that, or Charles said really didn't want to leave Farrah. Right. Because it's Farrah, Charles said, and Kiri in that one. I just feel like that, that Monkey Moon roster is probably... I feel like they'll beat Vitality. I don't have too much stock in Vitality anymore. It's crazy. Like, I just feel like they've plummeted. What it's if it's take. just like Monkey Moon in their head? Yeah, I feel like Monkey Moon is just... It, it's not even BDS. It's just Monkey Moon. It's Monkey Moon? They're going to play against Monkey Moon. They're going to shake and quake. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't going to cop. The fact that they went exotic just means to tell me that they're just really confident. <laughs> really confident. <laughs> but with all that being said, Monkey Moon, you ain't got your boy Mark Bade on your team, so I'm going Vitality. People don't yeah. sleep on Mark. Mark Top 5. Mark Top 5. And you ain't got Mr. Top 5 with you, Monkey. And Cassie on Exotic ain't Mark and Vitality, they're going to be able to handle you this time around. So I got oh, Vitality dear. coming out of France. Oh, dear. Okay, okay. Vitality coming out of France. Uh, For France? Mm, yeah. I'd go with Vitality. I have to go with the teams because if you are a team and you're losing to kind of like the, the pickup teams, that's a problem. And we all know offseason is approaching. It's approaching. No, it's approaching. It might already be here. Wait, can we just reflect on, on what we just went through? On Spain, we took Team Queso, who in my opinion is a stronger roster at the moment than Vitality. And Spain and teammates took Mark by eight pickup roster. Although I would Mark by eight pickup roster is better. It's better than Monkey Moon's pickup roster, yes. I would agree. Yeah. But still, like Monkey Moon, I don't know. He doesn't have Mark Bates scoring ninety nine point nine percent of every single goal that happens on the field with him. So I don't want to hear nothing about it. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think I think I think Europe has a lot more younger talent that we haven't heard of, and I think Exotics about to blossom with Monkey Moon, the enabler, the, the okay, greatest the third man in Europe. Yep, awesome man. Keep guessing, Monkey Moon. Mark Bates, guess Monkey Moon. He's all right, all right, oh, top yeah, five, baby. Oh, Mark, Mark the have you seen the stats? You are a big, the biggest stat man. Have you seen stats? That's just total games. They played the most games, so of course he's gonna lead statistically. Come on now, mm-hmm. come on. Oh, I had no, to sneeze. Yeah, Bless you. Thank you. But the other no- notable rosters we got: Germany, Freaky Godzilla, Tigre, and you got Catalyst of Tox and Riz X. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got a Mercy on the team, which is cool. <laughs> um, I don't know. Really, like Germany, probably just Freaky's team. To be honest. I mean, even though Toxic Team, Toxic Team is really good too. I don't know. That'd be one of them too. Europe North. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I look, I'm looking Magnus at Mets Magnus and Magnus. Mets and Magnus, probably. Wait, why didn't they just know. team with. Oh, wait, because a lot Swedish. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see now. Yeah. I mean, of course, you got to look nice. at the Middle East teams. Middle East, man, there's not much to see. I mean, you got, you got Falcons in there, sure, but we all know who's coming out. We already, know. we already know it's coming out. They didn't have to worry about that. That's, 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 that's done. That's wrapped. In a bag. It's finished. You got Team USA. And then you got USA. Who y'all oh, got? We got Envy versus Chicago. Oh, yeah, Chicago Bruh. first killer and Gary. Don't forget about that Ruddles Gyro Shock team now. That's true. You got Rizzo Sis Fire, but the team content. Toasty LJ Crisis. You got oxygen out there. Man. AJT, AJT no Alvarez. Mm. 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 Y'all got Team Envy? Yeah. I think I gotta go Team Envy. <laughs> we're, we're going with the machine on this one. Going with the machine? I'm not going with the machine. 
Oh but, my god, bro! It, talk about consistency, Demar. This, this man just contradicts on his words right, over what, and over again. Right I'm I, so I, sick of this. I guess I'm contradicting. <laughs> I'm so sick of this. I'm sick of this dude, man. I'm sick of this dude. <laughs> contradiction after contradiction. Time team out. Envy's the best team in the world. They'll Time do out. it over and over again. Yeah, the but Team Envy won't even make it no, out of USA. You, you went on the show last week and said NRG are the undisputed best team. You said Team Envy was, made this whole argument about it. I and didn't now, say Envy was the undisputed best team. But you said Envy were better. I did. So and they I can't represent the, the United States? They can't. Pick up roster. So, so what's up with it then? I think it's going to go game seven. It's going to be a tight scene. Time out. There's not. Let, let y'all answer this question. Is there a team with Gary G first kill in Chicago in the league right now? Oh, my gosh. Is there a team? Oh, goodness gracious. Is there a team? With Gary G, Chicago, and first killer? Uh, Is there a team? I'm going to scream. Is I'm there a team? Scream. I'm going to scream. Answer bro. the question. No, bro. there's no team, bro. They have paired three of the top five players in NA all on the same team. Now, oh, <laughs> that is really tough to beat, yo. You got to put some respect on that. That's three of the top five in, in America on the same team. Envy don't even no have that. practice. They going to practice a little bit. Two scrams, three scrams. They don't even have many scrams. I mean, Envy should be the favorites going in. The machine is the machine. My, my best team in the world. Best team. But there's just like that pickup team is just... You gave First Killer two upgraded teammates, man. Y'all gas First Killer that much, and you gave him two top five players. Y'all don't look at things logically, bro. I don't understand. I guess you're talking about logically. I don't understand. How can you talk about logically when there's a full roster that's been playing together for an entire season? That's cool. An entire season against awesome. a pickup team with no synergy. No synergy. They gonna have synergy, all right. It ain't hard. It's gonna be Garrett gonna say first Chicago, you two go. I'm gonna hold it back in the back line, all and that's remember, all you gotta do. <clears throat> we had two the same thirds of this roster, two thirds of this roster playing against Guild and getting smacked. Wait, talk hold on, hold on. no, 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 no. Two thirds of this roster right there. Talk talk playing against Guild, getting smacked. There's no way no, you're we saying that. This is propaganda. That is misleading no, we the public. Arguing. There's no <laughs> way. No, 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 no. It's my turn to speak. I'm shutting you both up right now. There's no way. You spoke for five minutes. I'm speaking again. There's no <laughs> way you're, you're comparing Ruddles to Gary G. See what happens when T-Bay starts screaming over us yet? He already knows he lost. Are you No, no. You're comparing Ruddles to Gary he G? Lost. Are you being sacrilegious on this stream? By are, you saying, are you saying Ruddles is that much worse than Garrett? As a captain, as a leader, as a player, that's Gary Golden. That's a world champ. That's the that's the general. The, if you want to make a team, with, you want to make an America team, you pick Gary Golden. That's number one pick. Are you are you really putting Reynolds on that totem pole? Stop, stop right now. I Gary love Slater. Gordon with LD and Percy. I love uh, that, that's 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 a different <laughs> team. I'm talking about Gary G with first killer Chicago. You you sat on this stream. <laughs> you sat on the stream for three months. Gas at first kill like he's some like it's a machine. Goat, like and, go and, to, and go and to you sit on this stream for you three months Gary gassing G is the going machine. To have the impact on this team that without Gary G got slapped by, I'd probably say arguably the fourth best team in Europe. Second best team right now in Europe. Yep. Uh, debatable. Not been debatable. Uh, Second best team. Definitely debatable. But no. you think that Gary G is going to have an impact that not only. They, that they take the best one of the top two teams in NA to seven games. Garrett G, first killer in Chicago. You also have to take into account Ping was fact into that Guild series. You forgot about that as well? First killer gonna be playing on 20 ping. Chicago on 20 ping. Garrett gonna be on 32 ping. They're not playing 130 ping. They're going against Team Envy. But I, you know, actually, no, no, I see, what you're I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Because last time I saw Team Envy, they scored one goal in the best of seven. So I get it. I get it. I get it. So you're, you know what? I, I'll back off. I'll back off a little bit. I'll back off a little bit. Crazy. I just can't believe someone who's an Envy enthusiast and mm. just, just shut it's fine. up. No, it's fine. It's it fine. makes sense. It makes sense. The machine's a little bit broken up right now. Like, no, this, this makes sense. Oh my gosh! It, no, the machine's fine. It's just gonna run into a team who, on mm -hmm. on paper, looks better than them, and that's a very rare occasion. Because in my opinion, there's no team currently in the world that looks better than them. But this team, that's on the it's uh, playing on its IWO, looks better on paper. That's oh. just me. I'm just looking at logic there. But hey, y'all, no, you're right. 
I'm looking yeah. at the numbers too. One goal, best seven. Makes sense. All right, yeah. we gotta move on. Yeah, let's move on. Let's move we gotta... on. So, uh, we 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 have to intro another guest. We got two guests on today. Technically three. Maybe it was a duo. Uh, but we have. Oh boy, we Can't have probably the most. Huh? Canada, Canada. Give Canada some love, real fast. Yeah, they not Canada? squishy Alu. Yeah, Canada's on there. Oh, you. I just said. Oh my god, I thought. Okay, I forgot. I'm like ready to bring CJ in. Oh. Like. <laughs> We got him joining up and everything. Okay, yes, Canada has some cool rosters as well. Uh, JNF Squishy Muffin Illusion, Sosa Rodoko Freshness, and Lethemir Corrupted G Taroko. Oh, God, that sounds like a recipe for disaster. I'm not going to lie. But... And then you got Brazil and Asia and all these. Right, you have Australia. You got Ground Zero. They're just going to win. Oh, CJ's so... playing with Hulk and Fever. So cool. Yeah, he's just going to go lose. <laughs> Wow. Okay. I, I let him get in here before you he said Right. Like, let him get in here. Well, he's in here somewhere. That being said, we might as well welcome him onto the show. Ladies and gentlemen, CJ CJ is going to be joining us. CJ is, I mean, you all know who CJ CJ is. He doesn't need it. He's a man that needs no introduction. He's beautiful. He's unbiased. He's completely factual, has really great lists. And I love him. I love CJ. How are you doing? Look, can, can, can we just backtrack just a little bit to that Team Envy discussion? Now, T-Bates, you're telling me <laughs> Get him. that your seventh best team of all time, oh, Team get Envy, him, get him. Talk to him. Get is going to lose to a pickup team. Woo, now, that is unbelievable. I, I can't even watch this, Joe. I'm surprised that we still got so many viewers after that. Uh, CJ, there's no way you're coming to this, coming to the stream and just going to... Why are y'all not acknowledging how great first killer Garrett G in Chicago are? CJ, why are you why are you you're saying a pickup team? This is this isn't me, Damar, and and uh, uh, Dorby out here playing Rocket League. This is not just a pickup team. That might be the greatest pickup team of all time. That is not a regular roster. Oh my god. Oh my lord. No way you came on here, CJ. The blasphemy yeah. already. I'm, blasphemy. So glad. I'm so glad CJ came on here and said that because I completely <laughs> forgot that this man. Put them at his seventh best team mm -hmm. of all time. Seventh. And that's a pickup team beating him. <laughs> seventh top ten of all time rosters. I think it's very arguable that this Garrett G first killer and Chicago team was the actual roster. They might even be top five all time. So I mean no. check the oh, so, I mean, really like it. Think about it. Why is he being blasphemous this on this fine Monday? I don't understand. I'm just, oh, I'm just stating the facts, but I mean, y'all, y'all can look at no logic. You're CJ, not any facts? You're appreciate you getting if, up in the morning. If, if, how many times do you say if, 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 if? <laughs> Let's look at the list, man. Come on, Bates. Yeah, this is the <sighs> list. Right. We got, we got the top ten list. You know, CJ, we know you were on the stream, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna have to ask you to like relive this for a little bit. Like, what, what was going through your mind through all, all of this? Like, how, how did you feel about this? Look, not much was going through my mind. I didn't really plan this list ahead. It sort of just happened, you know, I just felt it. When when Johnny asked for the pick, I just felt it. I unfortunately made a few mistakes along the way. However, thankfully we had T-Bates and Stumpy completely botching their list. <laughs> Cloud9 at 7 for Stumpy is just an absolute joke. And then, as we said, Team Envy here for the Bates, man. I mean, T-Bates, what are you doing? Team Emmy number seven, at least back yourself in two weeks later when we're coming into the Intel World Open, the Olympics, and put that team number one, North America. I mean, seventh best team. That's a, that's a, that's enough of a joke. But for you to just flip, you're just flip-flopping your ideas around. Soon you're going to be you're gonna be telling me that, that I don't know Rizzo's team's going to be number one NA, man. What, what's going on here? I mean, at least my list looks all right. I love at least my list has a little bit of credibility. <laughs> CJ, you have to understand something. Listen, I acknowledge when I make mistakes, and I might have envy a little bit too high. I should have put him at 10. But but here. <laughs> to say that Garrett G. Chicago first killer can't take him, at least at least bring him to seven, six, make the series tight. That's just that's just like being disrespectful to some of the greatest North American Rocket League players of all time. You also have to think Chicago's on that list at number eight. You see him right there, CJ? Mm -hmm, Garrett G's on my list at number four. And then first killer, unfortunately, just not playing Rocket League at the <laughs> highest level for last year. But he's arguably, what, you, what would you say, TJ? A guaranteed top five player? Yeah, 100%. Top three? Yeah, coming together as a pickup team. Yep. Okay, exactly. They're probably going to have a, at least about a couple couple of days of scrims. A couple of days of scrims, if not more. That's enough. Mm -hmm. that, that should be enough to at least take MV to six, seven? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> And did we, see the, so. did, did, wait, did we see the form MV was in? Days of scrims. Did we, did we see the form MV was in? 
last uh, major. Oh, that's true. That's true. See, 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 I'm taking all that into account. This isn't Prime Envy. If this was Prime Envy, I say Prime Envy, they, they're 4 over 4 one and a lot of people. But they're not in the Prime yet. Miss about to go on vacay. He's going to come back low hours, even more low hours. You have to take that all into account. I'm, see, I'm calculating my uh, my decision making here. There's a lot of a lot of thought process and a lot of logic behind what my, my thought process is. I can set thought process tight, but you get what I'm saying. So, that makes sense. But your list is okay. You, you, all you did was pick yeah. the most generic list possible to make sure and make OCA look good and win something. So I gotta respect it. Okay, OCA hang on, win hey, whoa, 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 hang on. I I picked the best list because it's the best list. Just because you're chucking Team Envy's in at number seven, and all this, these cra like Cloud Nine number one. I mean, Ooh. we haven't even talked about that, but that was, I mean, that was, pff, please. Anyway, I picked the best list because it is the best list. You're just picking this list because. I don't even know why you're picking this list. What is this list? I can't even look at it. What is going on in this list? Seven Envy, one Cloud9. Stumpy's list is nearly better than that. Nearly? No, it's not better. It's nowhere near better. You even said it on the broadcast. Don't be capping, uh, capping in front of all these people. Stumpy's list is by far the worst. It's not even close. Now exactly. I know you're picking Envy. You're not, you're, not, you're not even picking Envy in the NA Intel World Open over a pickup team. Your list has to be the worst because clearly you can't even back up that list. That top oh, 10. Oh, so yeah, you gotta think about it. You have the consistency. Time out, time out, time out. Also have to think about it. Where's no, the consistency's consistency there. The consistency, uh, Turbo's not even American. But he can play. He can play, yeah. But that doesn't mean he's gonna have the American prod behind every single action he makes. Uh, Team Guarantee's wow. gonna be flying a wave American flag right behind him on the green screen. Why it's all American, argument? baby. Why was that a defense? But what do you mean? Turbo That's more American, not American. He's but playing you're... regardless. It doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, you could be playing regardless, and you also you could be playing, playing like you want it. He's he's gonna do it for America. I know Gary G Chicago and first gonna do it for America. Turbo's just playing to play. There's a difference. That's hard to sew him behind that. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just gonna let y'all know. Yeah, I can see first killer waking up in the morning talking about American pride. I just <laughs> see it. Like he just wakes up and plays it. He's got his dad also jamming it behind him. You can hear it coming through from the sound in his door. Yep, that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Chicago as well as he's strapping on his, you know, Air Forces. Just, just got it blasted. Just got it blasted. Yeah. It's crazy to me. Yeah, you're no, doubting a up. man who has won four championships saying he doesn't want something. He doesn't want to <laughs> win. It's crazy. It's actually. Oh, he doesn't want to win. He's got play. Oh, yeah. This Yummy was on here. I forgot Yummy was on here. Or you, me. That's what Zumpy says. But CJ, you can react to this list as well. Uh, the OCE people in Johnny's chat won both times, by the way, guys. Just let all y'all know in chat. There's a there's a, twi there's a Twitch poll. And CJ won when he was on it. And uh, Yummy won when he was on So, CJ, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, again, just... I, I feel like this is something about OCE people that are clearly just the smartest, most intelligent, without a doubt, best Rocket League players in in the world so i mean yummy coming on here clearly just shows just the intellectual ability of that old bearded man and i mean it's a great list that's why he won <laughs> you know it looks good I'm, I'm i'm happy we have renegades on there a couple of times i mean you know thanks uh teammates i'm looking at you a little bit flat that you haven't put us in there maybe 19 20 but oh well you know i'll take three out of the four renegades thank you <laughs> cj to make my list you gotta be able to make the championship i can't yeah, like i can't i'll cut that that's fair. Yeah, you can't be you can't be in there but then again i do have falcons in there middle east but but it was a hypothetical <laughs> scenario <laughs> it was a hypothetical scenario wow. and i'm big on the middle east the team so the consistency is there i'm talking about a full mother screen maybe cj with full mother screens i did play cj in ranked a couple days ago they were looking not too shabby so yeah, I put i'm in teammates in ranked on 200 ping by the way <laughs> <laughs> oh we queued some us west for a bit of fun and we rolled oh. in my oh, goodness. Oh, me. Time out. Oh, we're going to pause. We're going to pause. Okay. DJ, what happened to the next game? Who are you Rap. playing with? Can you you want to run that back? Who, who are you playing with? 200 ping, by the way. 200 ping. Probably I had 210. Had, I had Braun and somebody. This is the man he was hyping up. <laughs> I had Braun. But regardless, had arrow regardless, regardless I, was, I think I was streaming. I was having a good little time. I'm just vibing. CJ, we're playing <laughs> CJ. We lost that game. I said, hold on. What happened next game, CJ, when I sat up? I sat up and said, it's time to get to work. And what happened? <laughs> what one happened? One. After it's that? one one. It's one one. One one exactly. The Rock League the, the the gods didn't want to, didn't want you to didn't want you to play me again because I would have gotten even worse. So I, I need think to pause right offline. there. Oh <laughs> he, he won the second game, quit the stream. He didn't want that rematch. <laughs> <laughs> CJ no came to my chat, guys. Don't let him don't let him mistake you. But <laughs> yeah, the OCE team, OCE faithful, they've won both of those lists. They have the most 
generic less possible and it really helps them the, generic as in i guess they're going cj's gonna argue generic equals right so um mm. <laughs> yeah but hmm. that's that was just his, his list oh, even though gosh. he's on top he's there on you me. <laughs> i'm all over you <laughs> He is all you. He is all you. My goodness. Well, that's that's definitely lists. But uh, since we have, oh, wait a second. Wait, did we skip a? Nope. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure. Uh, so CJ, we have you here, obviously OCE, because we're going to talk about the OCE championship that's coming up here very soon. As championships are going to be, you know, starting to ramp up, we're going to be talking about it more and more and more. The head to head with Ground Zero versus Cringe Society. This is going to be an interesting matchup. You've been playing against these teams all season. What's your expectations um, for for that particular matchup? Uh, I, it's a four o four o Ground Zero. There's uh, there's no planet where where Cringe Society can win this. Unfortunately, uh, this Ground Zero team is very good, um, and I think they'll be too good. I think that the records show that. I believe I just had a quick look at the head tag because I knew you were going to talk about this. Ground Zero at 10 and 1 this year against Cringe uh in series. So Jeez. I think it's gonna be a it's gonna be a whitewash. And I, I don't I haven't I can't really vouch for how much cringe have been actually scrimming since the uh since the major. So uh Ground Zero have definitely still been practicing, so I think that they'll uh, they'll take this one out. But yeah, as you can see in the highlights here. A little bit of unfortunate game number seven. It still hurts. I don't know why we're rolling this table. I haven't watched this. Game. <laughs> oh, Duke, this is rough. Get up faster than that. You got to block those. Game seven. Yeah. Get me. <laughs> I mean, look, if, yeah, I guess if anyone doesn't know, this was the decider. This was probably one of the most exciting matches out of all the majors, any region. Basically, it was us versus Cringe, the winner, uh, made Ball the championships. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, we lost game seven. We were 3-1 down. 3-1 down, back though. To game seven. You know, we, we started slow. We started really slow, but we came back. And then, unfortunately, <laughs> Drupe, as you can see, Drupe put on he put on the Jets in game seven and, and carried his team to victory. So, uh, you know, I'm pretty flat about it. Uh, don't know why we brought this up, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> don't know why we put this on the stream. CJ about to start crying. Oh. So... So CJ, yeah, 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 you lost there. What was going through your? No, I'm not gonna ask you that type of question. <laughs> That's one of those ones. But no, I do want to ask you though, uh, because it was that close uh, to where you know that game decides it. If things were different and Renegades were there, do you think you guys stand a better chance? Um. Well, as we said, look, if you're, I'm not gonna be biased. All right, I'll just be a stats man. Okay, I'll be a stats man. So as I said, Korean Society this year are ten and one. Uh, our roster, which only formed uh, before the uh, the last split, which is myself, come in fever. We're currently four and four against Ground Zero, so we're we're going even with them at the moment. So I, I'd say we're a good chance against them. I think we've we've been we've been showing that. Unfortunately, we just lost that one series. We were we were three hundred and fifty points behind Cringe Society coming into the last split uh, when we made the roster move with Fever, and we ended up winning a regional, coming second. Uh, and fourth or something like that. So, yeah, we 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 brought all the points back. We're actually ahead of Cringe going into the major, which is why that one series decided it. We were sort of twenty points ahead of them. Unfortunately, we beat them at every regional except for the major, the one that counted. So, full credit to Cringe for winning that. But yeah, I think the the Ground Zero matchup were four and four against them. So, I think to be a closer one, I still would definitely favor Ground Zero because I mean four and four I in mean, series. At, in series, yeah, in series. So, where are these, wait, what are these series happening? Uh, the regional two we in the grand finals. Okay, 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 uh, and then these these could be like like our like our LO, like our our grid as well, sort of thing. So that's like Oh gotcha, 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 gotcha. Just through the whole split. Yeah, I just if you go on Liquipedia, if you want to look it up, there's this beautiful, beautiful thing there. You can just click on a team and click head to head history, and then you can sort of look at the head to head. Um so mm. I just had a quick look there. So yeah, I mean, we'd be a good chance, but I think full credit to Cringe for getting it. They were like definitely the most consistent team. They stayed together, um, you know, for more for longer than us. We just formed in the last split, I guess. So that's that's what that's what it rewards this new format, doesn't it? The consistency. Unfortunately, we didn't have that consistency. So they get the dub. They get to go to the championship. 
we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, still still pretty flat about it. I thought we were going to really get to, to that uh to that championship. So thanks to uh the production team for rolling those highlights so I could just view that and just you know <laughs> just took me back to that that great day. But you know at Ground Zero, I think they're a great team. Uh, if we if we are wrapping up OCA here, I think they're going to dominate. And if if teammates is putting Envy as the seventh best team of all time, I don't know why I didn't put Ground Zero top five best teams of all time because right now. <laughs> They're technically level with BDS. I mean, this team. Oh gosh! Just... Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, CJ, wait. CJ, I'm gonna catch it right detector. there. My you said it, CJ. I was charts. waiting. I was waiting. I was waiting for it, CJ. If we led you, I led you right into my Here trap. The leaderboard came up. The leaderboard came up, and you kept yapping too much. So, CJ, what you're saying is you're equating OCE mm -hmm. to EU level in Rocky. Uh, what I'm saying is that neither team has played in international land, so until that happens, they're technically both equal because we don't know how good either oh region gosh. is right now. Oh, oh, we don't know how good either oh, region is right now. And if we look, if we look at the total RLCS points, I think Ground Zero have more points. Or do they? No, oh, they don't yeah. actually. BDS okay. has more. It's close. It's close. <laughs> it's really close. Oh, oh, no. CJ gassing up Ground Zero a little bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, 100 I mean, points. It's, a, it's 100 points less. It's it's close. So, you know, you'd have to put Ground Zero on that top 10 list if you put in BDS right now because until until a major happens, until, <laughs> until a, it's a national event, we don't know how good they are. We don't know how good. BDS, EU could be the worst region ever. We they don't could. really know. They it's could. been two years. It's been two years. So we don't really know anything right now. OCE could be the best region right now. We don't know. That's the element. That's why people, if you're going to put BDS in without knowing how good EU is, and we say EU is bad, a lot of people will. We say a lot of people say that you know EU have no depth, BDS are the only good team. Maybe they're not that good. Maybe just the EU region is that bad. Maybe Ground Zero are really good in a really good competitive region right now. Unlikely, but there's still a case. Uh, unlikely. We wait, wait, Koji, it. Koji, 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 Koji. I, I'll uh, pause CJ right there. Can we roll with the Ground Zero clip again, Koji? I just gotta see something. I got, I got, I gotta see something. And then, and by the way, this is, we're gonna roll the team who beat CJ's team. So uh, just roll, just roll the ground, just roll the Ground Zero clip one more time for me, Koji. Just says since Wait. he's got all right. Let's let's watch. First off, they're up three zero in series. Let's watch this gameplay for a second. All right, ball out mid. Uh, easy, easy, easy. Read off the back wall. Oh, he can't read a back wall. Uh -oh. This uh, how are we with with, with that way? Let's see on the replay here. See if he uh, maybe had a little boost. Maybe no, he grabs a hundred. Should be easy read. Oh no. Oh gosh. Somebody help him. Uh. Is that is 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 that how Ground Zero gets their Ws? They're they're, they're playing that level of competition. They can't. Read I mean, if you analyze the teams that BDS are beating in the grand finals, it's probably the same thing. I, right I, now. I, 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 I I I have. It's not that much better. I have. We've that we've done yeah, exactly. on the show. It's not the machine now. Name again, North America. It's a complete it's a complete class, different act. Yeah, there's no bias, but uh, I mean, hey, Ground Zero might be ever, might might be up there with you, maybe. That's, that's a hot take. We'll have to see. We we'll have to see. Nobody's on North America's level though. That's just that's just there's no nothing to see there. I can't wait to see the Reddit thread. CJ, <laughs> CJ, BDS top two team in the world. No, not BDS. Ground Zero Gaming top two team in the world. Oh, uh, that's gonna that's gonna go off the charts. Oh. CJ, CJ has come out here, come out here with energy and and a lot of faith in those OCE boys. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but just to be clear though, you did say Renegades have the better chance. Uh, I would say statistically we have the better chance. Uh, on I'm the field, about... don't give me statistics okay. on the field. On the field, yeah, I think we match up better against Ground Zero than Cringe for some reason. Ground Zero, they're ten and one. They just seem to to wallop Cringe aside every time they see them. The only thing Cringe have going for them is they're not going to screen. I think it's going to be like a month and a half since the. It's been a long time. It's been since. So. They, you know, they're not going to be screaming at each other. They're going to be screaming at other teams. So there might be that element of surprise. There might be that, I don't know, you know, it's who's practicing more. It might have been like, there's that thing, you know, like if you're not practicing, there's less pressure, you know what I mean? Because you're like, oh, I haven't put any work. That could uh -huh. be the cringe idea they're going for, you know what I'm saying? Like they might just be able to show up and just peak on the day. You know, they'll be fresh. They might not have played as much or they might not have practiced. They've they've gotten rid of their old bad habits. Like, as you said, missing that backboard read, they might be able to show up. So that's the only <laughs> way the Crew Society are winning that. But apart from that, I think it's going to be a 4-0-4-0. Four -oh, four -oh. um, but yeah, tune in if you, want to, if you want to see one of the, if not the best team in the world, take out their region. We'll have to see. <laughs> Why does she keep saying that? <laughs> keep oh saying? my goodness. Oh, that's that. I mean, it's just it's, it's looking like free money for Ground Zero. I don't think there's any debate in that. And, oh, uh, man. I mean, that's what happens when you have a easy region like OCE, lack of lack of a uh, parity. Same thing with e EU. But I think I think we're about to get into some uh some regions yeah. that actually have so, a little bit of uh 
Yeah. Keep in mind, OCE ROCS X Championships is June 19th. June 19th. So 20 days from now. Make sure to mark that on your calendar just to watch Round Zero. The, the, uh, the, the debated top two team in the world go against cringe society. <laughs> uh, yeah. It <laughs> uh, I'm really excited for that. Uh, yeah, so be sure to check that out. But yeah, we are going to go on to our next topic, which is championships for every other region. Yeah, CJ, we're going to start. Are we going to start with NA boys? We want to start with NA here? I mean, we don't have hmm. the... I don't think we have a SAM graphic, so we can do SAM first. And okay, then yeah, yeah, yeah. NAEU. So, South American Championships is also happening on June 19th, just so you're aware. Uh, that will be True Neutral versus Furia, who will be playing in the sets. That is a best of three set for best of seven matches. Um, just so you guys are aware. Same thing is happening for OC with Ground Zero and Cringe Society. So I'll leave this one for CJ. Who you got between True Neutral and Furia Esports? Well, look, they don't call me the Sam expert for nothing. Look, no, I haven't really watched too much Sam, they but what I do know is that oh. True Neutral, obviously, they're number one in points. But my man on the day... He's called the king for a reason, ladies and gentlemen. King Card, Furia, they're going to get the dub in the championship. I'll back my boy King Card in. And you know what? He's a freak. I think Kayo, I know Johnny's big on Kayo as the best player, but King Card, he's the king for a reason. He's going to stand up. I got, I got Furia. I got Furia. I'm going to get the upset, potentially. Ooh. Okay, okay. The Babarin, what you got? I'm kind are, of you save, are you saving yours? You know, uh, I'm leaning towards uh, towards Fury right now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm leaning towards Fury. You know, I think CJ may have convinced me. I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with him on this one. Huh. Just got the king card. That's all you need. But here, somebody's the king, and all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden you gotta go. You gotta go with that person. This uh -oh. dude, King Card. I don't know if you know what King Card's about. This dude at the oh. World Championships in season. What season was this? Season eight. This dude. Hit a flip reset in his own corner. Last man one on three defense, just for the sake of it. It just just flip reset in his own corner. This dude does not care in in <laughs> pressure situations. This dude does not care at all, and that's why he's going to win because the pressure is going to be on. True neutral, they're going to be coming in as favorites. They don't want the smoke that King Card's going to be bringing them. So I got oh, oh I got the king. gosh, it's the they don't smoke want the that smoke. King Guard's going to be bringing them. Somebody, some, oh oh they don't want no, the smoke. oh Jesus, no, see. Okay, that's interesting. So we got two Furious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and all right, bro, who you got? I mean, I think AJG does want the smoke. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of proven that there's just no, there's they're just the top team. True Neutral is the top team in South America. And I think that Fury, Furia doesn't stand a chance. The last, the last major that they had, Fury didn't even... They weren't even top two, but guess who won? True neutral again, and that and that and that's the consistency. That's the consistency that I want to see out of T Bates, but I can't get that. Oh. So I'm gonna have to go with true neutral. What? <laughs> see, I'm gonna back you with true neutral because HAG Shad, Rage Bull. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. HAG Shad, Rage Bull. They are the more talented team. They had two time major champions, I believe. Mm. Fury only got one. And I mean, I had card in my games yesterday and ranked. And he was balling. He was he was balling for one seventy ping. I gotta respect him. But I, as much as CJ CJ gas the king and all that nonsense, he won't be the king come championship championship whatever day that it is on the nineteenth. <laughs> Might be a Friday or Saturday. I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, I got I got true neutral. And even though you gas stuff Fury a lot, and Johnny Boy somewhere watching at home sipping a cup of tea, he's screaming Fury as well. So just three <laughs> Furious probably. Two two true neutrals, <laughs> but. Those three regions are pretty quick. OC, Sam, and now we're about to get into the real true re two regions. Even though CJ says I mean, EU, EU's a little bit Credit to you for going like the, the generic pick, true neutral. Obviously, you know, they've got the most points, you know. Generic. Stuff, so, yeah, what yeah, on what on the generic pick, you know? Oh, is that generic? Yeah, let's, let's move on to NA. Let's see what we got for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so keep in mind, South America and OC Championship Saturday, June 19th. So be sure to check that out. But things that are going on as well are going to be the North American and European championships. Here is the North American championships bracket. We got to go through it with you, CJ. Well, what, what, what are you thinking here? Look, I mean, there's a big problem right now with, uh, with North America. All right. Let me tell you what that problem is. 
It seems like no team in North America actually cares about the game anymore, apart from my guys, NRG. So, oh, you know what? Cool. I think that for some reason, NRG, they're just, unless unless Chrome Dome can get the boys on Space Station game really rolling, I just can't. Chrome I, Dome. <laughs> yeah. Chrome dome. The, the, the dome, the big dome. But I just have to go. I mean, I just, I have to go NRG um, in the come championships time. I mean, they're just, they're too good. Wait, hold on. Okay, that was very really easy for you to pick NRG. So we're gonna work, work, make our way through the bracket, CJ. This is the whole. This is CJ's predictions. CJ's oh, predictions. Okay, you're, all you're, the way through the bracket. Here. Start with G Two Face. Uh, we gotta know. We gotta know who. Knows. See, a lot of people they've seen your top ten list. You see, they've seen uh, Yummy's top twenty list. They're gonna back OC mm -hmm. a lot. So you gotta tell the people right now on first touch what the bracket's all looking right. like. All right, let me let me just run everyone through what's actually gonna happen. Actually, if you don't want to know what's gonna happen in the North American Championship, please mute this stream right now because this is going to be the bracket all right g2 phase coming up first now <laughs> all right, let's go. talk to me phase clan phase clan they are they're in a flat spot right now credit to them for going okay in the major but g2 esports they're on the upward trend they got my guy drees who has shown up shown up in a major little grand finals in his second event ladies and gentlemen my guy drees so i know the jazzo i'll back my boy in here to the hills i'll back chrome and jazzo in my boys on the CJ, CJ show. We'll back them in. They'll get there. G2 Esports. They're going to take that one out. They're going to take that one out 4-1. I don't think FaZe kind of... I don't think... They're, they're not going to be ready for it. Ooh. It's going to be a 4-1. G2, they've got so much confidence coming into that. They, they're they only nervous right now against NRG. So, I'll tell you what. i got to have I got to have G2 on that. That's going to take a 4-1. They'll be moving on. Wait, and obviously two best of fives. Two best of fives. Oh, oh yeah. So, oh, sorry. Sorry. So let me run out back. We'll go 3 1 3 1. <laughs> How's that sound? <laughs> How's that sound? <laughs> that sounds better. <laughs> that sounds that better. better. 3 1 right, 3 1. Three, one two, one, two, one, two. Okay, let's keep it rolling. Space Station Rogue up top, CJ. Uh, is this just me? You guys already. Do, you no, guys it's, it's just you. Right, right. We, we, we do it, we right, do it later. Move. Space Station Road. Now, Space Station might be the, uh, the second team behind NRG that actually still care about Rocket League. So we're going to have Chrome Dome. <laughs> They're going to be getting them absolutely Chrome warmed Dome. up, ready to go. Rogue, I don't know how they... Look, the thing with Rogue is they're never really that good in the group stage. Now, unfortunately, in this situation, it's not really a group stage. So I don't really know how well they're going to show up. In saying that, they were pretty good in the major groups. So don't at me with that. But <laughs> I'm going to take Space Station first up because I think Chrome, he loves getting you know, two or three scrims. Chrome Dome in the warm-up. He loves to warm up the team, make sure they're hot. I don't know if Rogue is going to be warming up that that much. So I think I'm going to take Space Station here. I think it's going to be 3-0 in the first series, and then it'll be a 3-2 in the next series once once Rogue a little bit more warmed up. But I'm going to take the 2-0 the series sweep there for Space okay. Station. Okay, 2-0 G2 over Phase, 2-0 Space Station over Rogue. Rogue versus G2. Look, this is a really mm -hmm. look. This is this is this is a this is a best of three set three series three. I don't know what you want to call this with all these sets. Best of five set. Um, this is look. This one's tough, huh? Look, I, I, so Rogue are coming down. All right, but okay. they've started the warm up. Uh -huh. G two on the other hand, they've got that win on the board here in the championships. That could be really important, but. How much, there's so much pressure at stake, you know what I'm saying? My boy Drees, I know he got second at the major, but this this has to be a step up from the major, I mean. They'd already, they'd already secured that top six spot, and that's all they cared about, so. But how much a rogue really care about this as well? This is what, this is my problem with North American Rocket League. I don't know how much they're actually practicing. I mean, we're we seeing Mist, he's got like seven hours. You know, shout out to him, um, however <laughs> much he's going to practice. But, uh, <laughs> look, I... I'm gonna go G2 as well. I'm gonna go G2 again. All right, so here's here's how the series is gonna plan out. Oh, All right, oh first series, first first series. We've got we're gonna have G2 three two. It's gonna be a tight one, right? And then I think Rogue is gonna turn on turn on the smoke, if you know what I'm saying. And they're gonna get a nice little three one in the second series. Boom. Okay. We're going to the third series. First up, first one of the day. Come out hot. Game five overtime. Drees hits the double touch. G232, they move on to place NRG. That's what I'm saying. Rogue, you're knocked out. Sorry about that. So Rogue's out. Sorry about that. Phase out. Space Station versus Envy at the top. NRG versus G2 at the bottom. Give us Envy versus Space Station. What you got? Oh, you know. I mean, as you said, this this Envy team, if you don't know, ladies and gentlemen, are the seventh best team of all time. <laughs> now, this is all-time <laughs> rosters as well. This, this, oh. Is, oh, this is not... 
just any this is just teams this is rosters this is the seventh best roster we've seen and rocket league has been out for six years ladies and gentlemen so if this team can't beat a space station gaming i mean what have they done I, they you know, 2019. Them? i mean they got chrome though but i i don't know about this team because we got the seventh best roster of all time so we're gonna get envy they're gonna be three one three one and they're moving straight into the grand finals of the championship it's a best of seven cj best of seven. Oh, sorry. Bro, we got the four one four one we're taking the four one four one they get, they get one game. We've got this best of seven set. 4-1, 4-1. Chrome, four, one, Chrome they're Dome can on. get the boys one game. Seven Red Rose and Arsenal only one game. Only one game for the Chrome Dome. They, they just ain't ready because this is the seventh best team of all time. The seventh <laughs> best oh roster. You think the seventh best roster of all time is going to lose to a Space Station gaming? Where would you put this Space Station gaming team base? Where would you put them on the top ten list? They're not top they're ten, not I'll tell you that much. Exactly. <laughs> they're not on that list. That's why we've got Envy. They got the 4 1 4 1 move on. We're going down to the lower bracket, ladies and gentlemen. We've got NRG coming up against G2 Esports. Now, unfortunately for my guys, G2 Esports, I'll back him in. But where do you see G2 Esports on the top 10 rosters of all time? <laughs> that, that, was, that was not there. Where do you see NRG? They're they not there, there either. either. Not there. Exactly. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of a problem in this game. It might be a closer one. However, unfortunately, my boy Drees, he, he, he's just. <laughs> He's not there yet. I mean, he's good. He's only 15, but he's just not quite there yet. So we're going to go NRG. They're going to come out. It's going to be maybe a 4-3 game one. All right. Series one, 4-3. Okay. We'll take game seven to NRG. But then the second series is when the creme de la crop rises to the top. All right. Oh, and we're going to have NRG oh. coming out 4-1, just knocking that series out. And they're just going to be cruising straight into that grand finals, baby. But this is the tough one. NRG coming up against Envy. This is the one we've all been That's waiting for. Time, the the way, the seventh best team of all time. The seventh best team of all time against the not seventh best team of all time. Now, who are you going to pick in that matchup, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> I think you're going to go the not seventh best team of all time, NRG. I think they're going to be able to take this one out. The best of seven set. We're going to go a 4-3, four, 4-3, three, four, three, two game sevens. And Turbo, he's not clutching this one out. He's not clutching this one out. Do you know why? Because Mist, right now, he's playing Valorant. He ain't playing ranked. He's not playing free play. He's playing Valorant. Do you know what the general... T-Bates, tell me what the general's doing right now. What's he doing? Garrett Gordon. Tell me what the general's doing right now, T-Bates. What do you reckon he's doing right now? Garrett Gordon's working. He's working on his craft. He's getting ready for, he's, getting ready for IWO and for the championship. He ain't playing he's around. Work, exactly. He's working he's on his craft. Working. He's, exactly. He's working. This seventh <laughs> best team of all time. Unfortunately... They're not actually the seventh best team of all time, although we've led you astray, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to T-Bates for just their, their outrageous pick there. And they're going to show on Championship Sunday why they, why they are a good team, but they're not the best team. NRG, they're going to take out the championship in a 2-0 series. So there you go. There's my, there's my championship run. If you want to unmute now, yeah, because that's, that's how it's all happening. But uh, that's, that's what's going to happen. So... You know, if you want to watch, if you want to see how it happens, you can watch. But if you don't care, we'll just, you know, wait for that, see the results, and then see that I'm right. <laughs> All right, guys. Just in case, just in case you didn't mute after CJ was talking, I'm not gonna tell you the bracket. You have to go back and look at, look at, uh, listen to his great soliloquy he just went on. Basically, he had NRG winning as tomorrow has, and uh, how he got there, you got to watch. But now we're gonna get CJ. We got a little bit more time. EU coming up. Make sure you get CJ for EU. Before we get him out, let's roll to it. CJ, stars off a solo with Team Queso. All right, look, we're going to have to run this one. We're going to speed run this one. All right, all right let's just, go. This is, this is generally what happens, all right? Everyone talks about NA for about 20 minutes, and it, you just flick over to EU's gloss over, right? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Team Queso. I mean, wait, tell me, I mean you, did, you did you did compare EU to OC, so, I mean, we do gloss over OC as well. So, it makes sense that we're glossing over EU. Solar Team Queso. Look, this is a tough one. <laughs> this is a tough one. All right, uh, Solar Queso. Look, it, it, honestly, EU, if you want to know who, who wins in EU, go to Google, Google heads or tails, and just keep doing that, and you might be able to find a team that's going to win. Right. First series. I'm gonna... First series here, Solary Team K. No so, way. look, let me just quickly toss up heads or tails. All right, let's have a look. And... <laughs> <He's definitely doing laughs> All right, it's We're going to have Solary moving on here. I think Solary, it's going to be a close series. Look, Solary going to take this one out. It's going to be a 3 2 and then 3 1 in the last series. They've got them done. Like, Solary moving on. Team Solary Queso, sorry that you're out. Okay. Love, you, love you, Team Queso, but you're done. All right. Top Blokes, Guild. This is an interesting one. Obviously, Guild, there's a lot of hype around them lately. They obviously won a regional. However, Top Blokes, 
actually aren't that good. We're gonna go guild moving on here. Guild are gonna go three o three o. We're gonna go the pervy sweep top bloke. So I ain't even practicing with this one. All right. You know, you know, Gregan. You know, Gregan's gonna have these boys on guild absolutely pumped up, ready to go. That's right. Guild are gonna move on. We've got Let's another go, no. sweep here. Three o three o. They're moving on. Down in the lower bracket now. We're going back down to the lower bracket. We've got Solary coming up against Top Blokes. Now, Solary, they've got the win. We all know momentum is a lie. However, in this situation, it is not. Solary, they've got that win. They're ready to go. Top Blokes, they're tilted. Guild have beaten them 3-0, 3-0. Solary, they're going to move on. We're going to go 3-1, 3-1. Boom, boom. We're moving on. <laughs> Solary. <laughs> go Let's go up top. Let's go up top. Team Vitality coming up against Guild. Now, this is a great matchup Talk here in the semifinals. Best of seven set. Team Vitality. I mean, I had them as my... Uh, hmm. What, what were we doing that? Uh, the, the, uh, the draft. Yeah, you know, the draft, yeah. Roll we're talking about the draft. I mean, I, I have to back my boys in because I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the coach of Team Vitality here on the draft. So I'm going to back them in here. Guild Esports, they're not going to be quite ready. Greg is preparing them for that top blocks matchup, but he's got the French beast coming up on Vitality. So i got Vitality taking this one out. We're going to go 2-0 in series. We might go a 4 series, And then we'll go a 4-3 just to keep it spicy. I know Guild have beaten <laughs> them recently. Spicy. But we'll go the 4-3 game seven to keep it spicy. Vitality, they're moving on because you know what? They've been the second best team the whole year. They ain't been the best team. And the best team is about to play right now. BDS coming up against Solary. BDS, it's just going to be a whitewash. This team has been preparing for the championships since the first split when they probably qualified <laughs> in this region that is in there. Now, BDS, they just got to roll straight. Look, I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll give Solary two games in the first series. We'll go 4-2 just because, you know, Monkey Moon, he's probably just, he's probably stretching the arms a little bit, you know, he's just, he's stretching the fingers, doing a, bit, a few little hand warm ups. Once those hands get warm, baby, they're going to 4-0 that next series and they're moving straight into the grand finals and they're staring down this French team, the Vitality, Team Vitality, and they ain't going to win it because BDS are going to take it out 4-0, 4-0. Unfortunately, it's going to be oh a disappointing goodness. grand finals. This team is the best team. <laughs> is EU a good region? We don't know. Is BDS a good team? <laughs> Maybe, or are they just an uh, okay team in a bad region. Who knows? But BDS are going to get the top 4 0 4 0 BDS, no. best team, and fifth best team of all time, or somewhere around there, whatever we put them. There you go. BDS four take out EU. 4 0. I don't BDS. know what to say. I don't know what to say. They got a perfect sweep by Tony in the grand, in the grand final, the, the championship mm -hmm. final for EU. 100%. This man, this man flipped the coin. <laughs> He flipped the coin for the first series. I, I have full, I, I have so much respect for CJ now. He said, he said, he said, boom, boom. He said, boom, yeah, boom, boom. boom. <laughs> the coin. Bro, bro. Speed run that. Speed run that. You know what I'm saying? My goodness, folks. Just in case y'all couldn't keep up. CJ basically had the fastest bracket pick of all time, and he ended up with BDS. Perfect sweep in Vitality. Mm -hmm. Even, and you're, and you did say that Vitality has been the second best team in EU. The whole season, mm -hmm. and they're gonna get perfect swept. So I think this is gonna be indicative of how not great EU is by the time BDS sweeps them. A bit more so than how great BDS are. But I mean, uh, hypothetically, just to play a little devil's advocate. Say Ground Zero's in there. What happens? I mean, it's 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 probably you know it's going to it's going to three series. I mean, it's probably a four three. BDS take that one out. They Ground Zero, they hit back. They they, they, they learn. They adapt. They, adapt, they learn. They, adapt, they, they learn. They're quick. They take it out four three. But then, you know what? I think the fatigue sets in. I think BDS, they probably played a little bit more ranked lately than uh, than GZ. So I might just give it to BDS, but it's probably going to be close. Maybe like maybe like a 4-2 in the last series, but, you know, it's close. It's a lot closer <laughs> than Vitality BDS, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. <laughs> okay, okay. BDS versus Ground Zero Gaming. You heard it here on First Touch. CJ, CJ is a closer matchup than BDS versus Vitality. <laughs> That was golden. That was golden. That was great. <laughs> what just happened? That was okay. great. Okay. All right. That's that 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 was a thing. Well, gentlemen, that was exciting. That I I honestly I kinda agree with the coin flip. That's the funny one. But I also <laughs> he actually coin flipped and he was I looking also, at his monitor. Y'all couldn't see, but he's looking at his monitor yeah. waiting for it to stop flipping. He said, uh, okay, is this one? I'm like, oh man. <laughs> He's giving me ideas. Um, but yeah, CJ, uh, we're going to have you with us here for the close. Yeah, for the close. And um, but of course, before we close out, is there anything you want to say real quick before we close? Like any shout outs, anything that you want to mention? 
I mean, you know, shout out to you boys. Clearly, it's just the number one talk show podcast. You know, the CJ CJ show was good for a while, but then you guys just came in and just swept us by storm. So, credit to you three. I mean, it's it's a pleasure coming on the show. Um, you know what? I've Wait, had fun. Where's the CJ CJ podcast happening? Where's it happen? Well, you know, sometime Tuesdays, so, 9 sometimes so, Tuesdays, Tuesdays, Tuesdays at nine pm. So tomorrow, uh, Eastern, Eastern, boom. There we go. Okay, yeah, boom. tomorrow. Nine pm. No, tomorrow, yeah. CJ yeah, CJ, tomorrow. check yeah. it out. Wait, who's on that, by the way? Just uh, let everybody know. It's me. It's Chrome. It's Jazzo. It's the boys hanging out, and we just we just discussed. We got the inside look. We got the coaches. You know what I'm saying? I mean, these three. We got we got some wash players down here. We got a cast who's, you know. <laughs> I mean, if we're talking top 10 casts of all time, he might be pretty low down on that list, but, you know, we don't really know. But, uh, you know, we've got we've got two coaches here. Current coaches, we've got G2's coach, we've got Space Station's coach, and we've got the, the washed-up OCE player who that? can't make the championships. So, you know, it's, it's <laughs> good fun. We've got the good dynamic. Smoke. Tune into that if you want but, Oh, but, man. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's you know, it's 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 good fun coming to the show. You guys have got, you know, it's it's I can I can see I, I get the feel for it. It's a great vibe. And uh yeah, thanks for having me. I, I appreciate you guys letting me come on and um dribble, just, just dribble nonsense for, for a few minutes, even though it's four thirty in the morning right now. And um, <laughs> you got more energy energy. <laughs> <laughs> energy is insane. Energy. Woo! Love the energy. Impressed. I love, love that. Energy. Guys, y'all in the chat, make sure to check out the CJ CJ show potentially tomorrow at nine PM Eastern time. Yep. If anything, follow CJCJ on Twitter to get the updates. He'll tweet out when it goes live. So the boom, there you have it right there. And you can watch um uh man, I wish we could roll the clip it again of a of an almost championship S player, uh Chrome Dome and G2 Jazzo, who is excellent. You can watch them all talk about uh Rocket League just like we do. It actually is a really fun show. I think uh been I've been keeping an eye on it. The last show I watched was with Johnny Boy. Was that your last show? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we had so. the John on. Yeah, we had, we had a few guests on. We had, you know, we, we've had Turbo on, you know, just talking nonsense. Yeah. So it's good fun. It's like it's like this show, you know what I mean? It's, it's quite laid back and we just hang out. So, you know, if you like this show, you'll probably like the other show. Yeah. You there know, you we, it might be a little bit more, might be a bit more edgy. We got some, we got some coin flip predictions. We do coin flip backwards. That's what we're all about on the CJ show. Because <laughs> EU, we don't know what's going on with the EU region. No one could predict EU. <laughs> So we appreciate it. Obviously, guys, be sure to check out CJ. CJ, thank you uh, again for, you know, stopping by. Of course, uh, big shout out earlier to Heavy Music. Be sure to follow those guys uh, on any socials with at Heavy Music. Uh, of course, if you guys want to keep an eye on myself, Roll Diz, and T-Bates, our Twitters are right there on the screen. You can check them out, especially because we are about to go on a little vacation. But... As we go on vacation, we want you to know First Touch is going to be back on Monday. So be sure to tune in on Mondays at 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. Pacific time to come and watch us talk more as championships gets closer and as the offseason develops more. This has been First Touch, ladies and gentlemen. Peace and much love to you.